understanding and configuring IP. Before you begin, you must have two virtual machines or physical computers named DC Server 1 and Boston that are joined to the same isolated network and on which Windows Server 2008 is installed. Neither computer should have any server roles added. Also, you must have an understanding of Windows administration. Chapter 1, Exercise 1. Log on to DC Server 1. I have it already running. And uh, as an administrator, and open a command prompt and um, verify the IP address. And uh, there it is, the IP4 version 4 address is 169.254.47.74. This is because the default Windows Server 2008 installation specifies that the IP address of the host is assigned automatically in the absence of a DHCP server. So the host is uh, using an APIPA address. Um, that's a 169.254 slash 16 uh, address that you see. So that connection number 3 has been assigned uh, an IPvC, a local link IPvC 6 address beginning with FE80 colon colon and followed by a bunch of numbers in hexadecimal. Um, this address is the IP version 6 equivalent on a, of an APIPA address. Because this uh, server 2008 uh, slated to be a domain controller and also a DNS and DHCP server, we will configure a static IP address. To do so, we type ncpa.cpl that brings up the uh, network connections. We right click it, select properties, go into Internet Protocol version 4 and manually type the address of 192.168.0.1 then when we click on the subnet masks it automatically figures that it's a slash 24. We've configured the static IP address, so we click OK, OK. We can close this and retype ipconfig and verify that the IPv4 address is uh, now 192.168.0.1. Exercise number three, we will uh, configure the IP address for the other server that we're using in this lab, the one for Boston. We, uh, we want the address to be assigned in the case that the, there is no DHCP address. Um, we want the address of 192.168.0200 to be assigned. So we will log in as an administrator in Server Manager. We will click Network Connections right here, and that takes us to the same spot. We will right-click the connection and click Properties, and then we will click IPv4 and uh, hit Properties. And then we'll go to the alternate config tab and we will type 192.168.0.200. Click on the subnet masks and again automatically assign set uh, slash 24 address. Click OK. We'll close it. And then uh, we'll type ipconfig 
space slash all and we can see that IPv4 address is now set to the 192.168.0.200 with configure also that auto configuration is enabled is checked to yes and DHCP is also enabled but there there is no DHCP on the network assigning addresses so it took the default address that we configured exercise number four we will now configure a static IP address using the command prompt open up a, an elevated um, command prompt it would be a run as administrator but since I'm logged in as an administrator that's not necessary and then at the command prompt type net sh interface ip set address quotations local area connection number three um, close quotations static 192.168.0.2 and then the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 and press enter it comes back and uh, it should be completed now to ver verify the change type IP config and press enter and there you see it 192.168.0.2